Welcome to Excel magic trick number 1,484. Hey, in this video, we got to see how to look up the latest product price based on a date. And in this video, we'll see how to solve this problem using a sorted helper column in the lookup table. And then we'll see how to use that sorted helper column in VLOOKUP and the lookup function. Now, if we go over to the sheet all, the fundamental problem we have when we have a lookup table like this is we have duplicate products. And we need to look up the correct price for the product over here in the price column based on the order date. So 226, I would have to get the price of 10 because 226 is either 1, 1, 2018 or later all the way up to, but not including 3, 1, 2018. For that particular price, 12 bucks, all the dates from 3, 1 up to 7, 15 would get a price of 12. Anything after 7.15 would get a price of 9. Now, in our last video and in this video, we're going to sort the lookup table. And that will make our formula solution a little bit easier. Then in the three videos after this one, we'll see how to solve this problem without sorting the lookup table. Now, let's go over to the sheet 148387. Now, here's our lookup table. And I'm going to sort this the wrong way first. Right now, we couldn't use the effective date column like we did in our last video. And if we're going to create a helper column, we can't use a helper column and join these two lookup items. Because in order to use a straight approximate match VLOOKUP or lookup, the first column has to be sorted from smallest to biggest. So the way we're going to do this before we do our solution is we're going to come over to Effective Date, and we're going to sort it. Right click, Sort, Oldest to Newest. Then we come to Product. Right click, Sort, A to Z. Actually, they're both A to Z. We did A to Z and A to Z. What this does is it isolates. Now we have the ABCs here, but our second condition for lookup the effective date column is sorted smallest to biggest. Now all we have to do is come over and create a first column that has a unique identifier or a key. Then over in our lookup area, we can simply use straight VLOOKUP or lookup. All right, so you ready? Here's our formula for key product. And then we're going to use the join operator, Shift-7, the ampersand. And I'm going to join it to effective date. Control Enter. And of course, we know under dates are serial numbers. So that's the correct date serial number. I'm going to double click and send it down. And we can see in terms of sorting, we have ABC 43101 and then ABC 43160. So these three items are perfectly sorted from smallest to biggest. And then alphabetically, the next product and the final product. Now, guess what? We have a perfect lookup table where price is in the fourth column. So we're going to come over here, equals VL tab. Well, wait a second. I don't have a single cell lookup value, but no problem. Right in the lookup value, we'll do the same thing we did up in our lookup table. Take product and join it to the order date. Now, remember right now, if we were to click here and hit the F9 key, that 43157 does not match exactly one of these dates. But doing approximate match lookup, because the first column is sorted, the way it works is it will take this race through until it sees the first one bigger, which is the second ABC, and jump back a row. Now, approximate match doesn't really work like that. It actually does a binary search. But you can think of approximate match that way. Race through, bump into the first one bigger, and jump back. And that's how it knows the correct row. Now I'm going to Control Z, comma, lookup table, four columns, F4 to lock it, comma, column index. The thing I want to go and get is in the fourth column, so I simply type a four. And if I type comma, I could put true or 1 for approximate match. 
But guess what? If you're doing approximate match, you don't ever need to put the fourth argument in. If I backspace by leaving it out completely, meaning I don't even type a comma, VLOOKUP is programmed by default to do approximate match. Close parentheses, Control Enter, and I'm going to copy it down. Go to the last cell and hit F2. I'm verifying that the cell references are working. Now, that works perfectly. But if I come up here and sort this some other way, it's just not going to work. Control Z. So this solution requires that we sort by two different columns, first effective date, and then the major sort is product. Then we have our key. Now, there's one other cool thing here. If I come down here and F2, guess what? In our last video, we saw how to use lookup. And if you're doing approximate match lookup, why not use the lookup function? Because the lookup function only does approximate match lookup. And guess what? Our formula will look like this. It will be the second argument. In our last video, we used the first one because we had a lookup vector where we were matching. And then we had a result vector where we were looking something up and bring it back to the cell. But the second option for lookup means array, we actually have a proper approximate match VLOOKUP table. So that's all you have to do. And how does lookup know which column to get? Lookup is programmed to always take from the last column. Lookup function is also programmed to do either vertical or horizontal lookup. And the way it determines that is if it has more rows than columns, it knows to do vertical lookup. If it had more columns than rows, it would be programmed to do horizontal lookup. Actually, if they're exactly the same columns and rows, it does vertical lookup. Now, I actually have a full huge video with all sorts of lookup tricks. In the last video, a number of you commented that you hadn't considered lookup function before. So look up in the corner there. I have a link to an epic video that shows you all sorts of lookup function tricks. That'll work. Close parentheses. I love that. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. If I were to sort this some other way, of course, that formula would break also. Now, I got to give a shout out to AnyCraft. This solution came from AnyCraft at YouTube. I was going to sort the two columns and then use VLOOKUP and offset, but that's way too complicated. So thanks to our online Excel teammate, Any, for sorting the table on two columns, helper column and VLOOKUP, or the lookup function. Now, this is the second video in five. The next three videos will be how to do the same problem here when we do not require a sort in our lookup table. All right, if you like that video, click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is fun. We'll see you next video.